In this English video, we're going to talk about having conversations in English. Listening to English talks is super important for getting better at English. It helps you understand and speak better. So let's get started and work on improving our English skills together. Lisa, have you been watching The Next Frontier on Starstream? It's the new space exploration show everyone's talking about. Oh, hey, Alex. You know I love anything space related. I haven't had a chance to jump in yet, though. Is it really that good? It's incredible. They follow a team of astronauts on their mission to establish the first permanent human colony on Mars. It's so suspenseful seeing them overcome all the challenges of living on another planet. Wow, that sounds intense. Like dealing with no oxygen and stuff? Exactly. They show the science behind it all in a way that's easy to understand, but it's still thrilling. There's even some drama between the crew members, which keeps things interesting. Hmm. Drama in space? That's a new one. Are they fighting over who gets the last bag of chips or something? Not quite. More like personality clashes and disagreements about the best course of action. It feels very real, you know? Like you could actually be there with them. You've definitely piqued my interest. Maybe I'll give it a shot this weekend. How many episodes are there? Ten? But they're all binge-worthy. I finished it in two days, no shame. Two days? Sounds like you got hooked. Maybe we can chat about it after I watch a few episodes. Absolutely. We can dissect all the plot twists and scientific details. Space nerd bonding time. So, Alex, I finally started watching The Next Frontier this weekend. And wow, you weren't kidding. I'm already on episode four, and I can't seem to stop. I knew you'd love it. Which part has grabbed you the most so far? Honestly, it's a toss-up. The whole concept of building a colony on Mars is mind-blowing, but I also find the crew dynamics fascinating. Definitely. There's Dr. Sato, the brilliant but stubborn head scientist, right? Yes. And Commander Reyes, the level-headed leader who seems to keep everyone in check. Exactly. What about that argument they had about growing crops in Martian soil? It got pretty intense. No kidding? I was on the edge of my seat. Dr. Sato was so convinced her method would work, but Commander Reyes was worried about the risks. It made me wonder, how do you make tough decisions like that when the stakes are so high? That's a great question. It's easy for us to judge from the comfort of our couches, but they're facing real-life situations with limited resources. Exactly! And speaking of challenges, that near disaster with the oxygen supply in Episode 3 had me holding my breath. Right. It really showed how quickly things can go wrong in space. It made me appreciate all the training those astronauts go through. Absolutely. They seem so calm under pressure, even when things are falling apart. Do you think the show portrays astronauts realistically? I think so. They consulted with real astronauts when creating the show, so it feels believable. The way they portray the physical and mental strain of space travel seems accurate. That's good to know. It makes the whole experience even more immersive. By the way, is there a romance brewing between Dr. Sato and the engineer, what's his name, Kai? Ah, you noticed the sparks flying? There are definitely some hints there, but it's not the main focus of the show. I know, I know. But a little romance never hurts, right? Especially when you're stuck on a spaceship with the same people for months on end. True enough. Although, I can imagine it would add a whole new layer of complication to an already stressful situation. You're right. Maybe it's better to keep things professional. Speaking of complications, I wonder what that mysterious signal they picked up at the end of Episode 4 means. Don't even get me started. The possibilities are endless. Could it be another civilization? A distress call? I can't wait to find out. Me too! This show is seriously addictive. I have a feeling I'll be glued to my screen all week, trying to unravel the mystery. Sounds like a plan? Maybe we can compare theories after you finish the season. We can have a full-blown The Next Frontier discussion. I finally finished The Next Frontier, Alex. That was one wild ride. I knew you'd be hooked. So, what did you think? Did it live up to the hype? Absolutely. It was even better than I expected. The finale was incredible. So suspenseful and action-packed. I know, right?
When that solar flare hit, I thought it was all over for them. Me too. But Dr. Sato's quick thinking saved the day. She's definitely a genius, even if she can be a bit stubborn sometimes. True, but you got to admire her dedication. And Commander Reyes? A true leader, calm, collected, and always making the tough calls. Definitely. They make a great team, even with their differences. Speaking of the team, what did you think about the whole will they, won't they thing between Dr. Sato and Kai? I knew you were shipping them. It was definitely hinted at, but I'm glad they didn't make it the main focus, kept the story moving. You're right. Though a little romance would have been sweet, especially after everything they went through together. Totally. Imagine being stuck in a spaceship with someone you secretly like. That would be intense. Exactly. But hey, maybe there's a spark in season two. Did you hear anything about a renewal? There have been rumors, but nothing confirmed yet. Let's hope they green light it soon. There are so many unanswered questions. Like, what about that mysterious signal? Do you think it's aliens? It's definitely a possibility. The show's creators said they wanted to explore the idea of humanity encountering extraterrestrial life. That would be mind-blowing. Imagine the challenges and possibilities. The crew would have a whole new set of problems to deal with. Exactly. It would definitely test their skills and their courage to the limit. Speaking of challenges, what did you think about the way they portrayed the difficulties of living on Mars? It felt very realistic. The lack of oxygen, the harsh environment, the constant risk of something going wrong, it all seemed believable. I agree. It made me appreciate all the hard work and sacrifice that goes into space exploration. Those astronauts are true pioneers. Absolutely, they're paving the way for future generations to maybe even colonize Mars someday. It's pretty exciting to think about. It is. The next frontier really got me thinking about the future of space travel. It makes you wonder what amazing discoveries we might make out there. Exactly. This show has definitely sparked my interest in space exploration. Maybe I'll even watch some documentaries to learn more about it. That's a great idea. There's so much to learn about the universe. And who knows, maybe someday we'll even get to travel to space ourselves. Now that would be a dream come true. Thanks again for recommending this show, Alex. It's been a blast discussing it with you. No problem at all, Lisa. It was fun sharing this with a fellow space enthusiast. Here's to hoping for season two. So Alex, with the next frontier finished, it's time for the fun part, fan theories. What are your thoughts on that mysterious signal they picked up? It's the biggest question mark, for sure. My gut feeling is it's some kind of alien communication. Maybe a distress call or a message from another civilization. That would be incredible. But what if it's something more sinister, like a warning or even a threat? Hmm, that's a possibility I hadn't considered. It would definitely add a whole new layer of danger to their mission. Exactly. Imagine trying to build a colony on Mars while having to worry about potential alien threats. Talk about pressure. True. Speaking of the colony, what do you think the future holds for it? Do you think they'll be successful in establishing a permanent settlement? I'm optimistic. The crew seems capable and resourceful, and they've already overcome so many challenges. Plus, with Earth's resources dwindling, Mars could be humanity's next hope. I agree, but there's bound to be setbacks. They'll need to figure out how to grow food more efficiently, deal with the harsh climate, and maybe even create some form of entertainment to keep their spirits high. Good point. Living on Mars wouldn't exactly be a walk in the park. It takes a special kind of person to adapt to that kind of isolation. Definitely. Which brings me back to the crew dynamics. Do you think there will be more romance in season two? If it happens. You and your shipping. It's possible, especially with the close quarters and all. Maybe Dr. Sato and Kai finally take the plunge. Or maybe there's something brewing between Commander Reyes and the pilot. What's his name? Kim? Ooh, interesting. There were a few subtle moments there. It would be cool to see a relationship develop between two leaders. Absolutely. But hey, maybe they'll keep the focus on the mission and leave the romance out of it. True. There's already enough drama with the challenges of space travel and the potential for alien encounters. Speaking of which, 
what kind of new challenges do you think they might face in Season 2? Technical problems, maybe even another near-death experience. It wouldn't be the next frontier without some nail-biting situations. Maybe a sandstorm or another solar flare could put the colony in jeopardy. Or what about internal conflicts? The crew might not always see eye to eye on how to handle things, which could lead to tension. That's a good point. Being cooped up together for so long could definitely test their patience. Hopefully, they can work through their differences and maintain a united front. Absolutely. Teamwork is crucial for their success. And hey, maybe they'll even encounter some new Martian life forms. Something small and harmless, like a cute little space creature. Now that would be a twist. Imagine trying to study and understand a completely new species. It would be a scientific breakthrough. It would. The next frontier has so much potential for exciting storylines in season two. Here's to hoping we get some official news soon. Definitely. In the meantime, we can keep coming up with our own fan theories. Maybe we can even start a blog or online forum to discuss the show with other fans. Great idea. Spreading the word about the next frontier and getting more people hooked. Who knows, maybe our theories will even inspire the writers. So Alex, we've talked a lot about the next frontier, but it's got me thinking about real-world space exploration. What are your thoughts on where we stand right now? It's an exciting time. We're constantly making new discoveries and technological advancements. Private companies are getting more involved, which is pushing things forward. That's true. I've been reading about some of these private space programs. They seem ambitious, aiming for things like moon bases and even Mars missions. Exactly. It creates a healthy competition that benefits everyone. Government space agencies can focus on bigger projects, like exploring deeper into space. Do you think colonizing Mars is a realistic goal in the near future, like the show portrays? Maybe not as soon as the next frontier suggests, but it's definitely something scientists are seriously considering. There are still many challenges to overcome, like radiation and the harsh environment. It sounds like a dangerous place to live. Why would anyone want to go there? There are a few reasons. Mars might hold resources we haven't even discovered yet. Plus, it could be a backup plan for humanity in case something catastrophic happens on Earth. A backup plan for Earth? That sounds serious. It is. Climate change, resource depletion, these are real threats. Having a second home on another planet could ensure our survival as a species. Wow. I never thought about it that way. Space exploration seems like such a distant dream sometimes, but it could actually be crucial for our future. Absolutely. Plus, there's the pure sense of exploration. The desire to discover new things and expand our knowledge of the universe. It's a human instinct. It is, isn't it? Just like in The Next Frontier, there's something so captivating about the unknown. Exactly. And who knows what amazing discoveries we might make. Maybe we'll find signs of life on another planet or even intelligent alien civilizations. That would be mind-blowing. Imagine the impact that would have on science, philosophy, everything we know about the universe. It would change everything. It would force us to reevaluate our place in the cosmos. It's a lot to think about. Space exploration is such a complex issue with both scientific and philosophical implications. You're right. But that's what makes it so fascinating. It pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and forces us to think big. Absolutely. The next frontier might be science fiction, but it makes you realize the possibilities are endless. Exactly. Maybe someday space travel will be more accessible and we'll all get a chance to see the wonders of the universe for ourselves. Now that would be a dream come true. Thanks for this conversation, Alex. It's been a real eye-opener about space exploration and its potential impact. The pleasure was all mine, Lisa. Maybe someday we'll be discussing our own space adventures. Until then, let's keep dreaming big and looking to the stars.